Greetings, everybody. Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Monday, May the 16th. And yes, we have now the best tanker in the game. And quite possibly for the rest of this particular, uh, for Farm Sim 22, this could possibly be the best tanker uh, we will ever see in this game. This is the TLX 48-foot tanker trailer by 82 Studio. It is 37.48 megabytes to download, but in my opinion, that's well worth um, <clears throat> well worth the memory space. Um, uh, although it is only 12 slots, which is quite astonishing for the amount of um, options you get with this. Um, which there is a, a plethora of options. So let's first uh, take a look at it. Uh, we'll find it in trailers under tools. For me, it's right at the end. Almost at the end. There it is, the TLX 48-foot tanker trailer. Only $21,820. Ah, wow, super cheap. And uh, will it will hold... Uh, uh, it will hold the uh, diesel exhaust fluid, water, uh, milk, diesel, herbicide, liquid fertilizer, digestate, and slurry, which is pretty much everything. Um, and it might hold a few other things depending on what mod you have downloaded. So that might change slightly. However, uh, we'll start with the multitude of um, options. You start off with the 67,240 liter capacity. Now beware, that is um, going to be actual weight capacity. So if you fill it up, it's going to register uh, the weight of all that. This is, uh, this is actually the largest capacity trailer at that at that liter capacity, 67, I think the biggest one we have right now is 50. So 67 is quite a bit. So just like this 21,000 for the biggest tanker in the game is already um, a major plus. <clears throat> now, you can go for, for another, only for, for, for another 10,000, for only $10,000, if you act now, you could get this trailer with 250,000 liters. Woo. Now, uh, at this, at, at that capacity, I don't I think it registers. I'm not sure. I don't think it registers any weight, actually. Um, so, there is that. We'll leave that on there for now. Wheel brands. Now, here's another uh, a signature uh, of A2 Studios is the... The, the types of wheel brand choices are um, quite va vast, shall we say. Continental, you don't have any uh, choices. Uh, the Phoenix brand, you have um, white, white decals, black decals, chrome decals, and back to, oh, decal, white decal spikes, black spikes, chrome spikes. Heavy duty, heavy duty, white, black. Okay, then we're back to those. Uh, if we go over to Trilex, uh, the Trilex style, style black, white, chrome, and then back to the Trilex style. Vintage, we get the standard black center cap, heavy duty, Nokian lug, long nuts, long nuts black, spikes, spikes. So as you can see, now Vertistine, Agricultural, let's go up here. Standard, uh, uh, well, back it up. Agriculture 3, then you get the crawler track. Yes, with the 3D tracks. Uh, crawler track 2, so wider. And 3, which is blacked out rims. And then back to agricultural. And then Nokian, nice knobbly uh, twins there, nice. Uh, two is a wide back and forth. That's that's actually really that, that would be my preference for uh, tires, anyways. Oops, and then it's back to Continental. Uh, if we go back to let's go back to the crawler tracks. 
uh, just uh, for a minute. Special edition, standard black. Also, so you can go with the black bell, which is pretty much a, uh, a preset, or the copperhead, silver bee, or the sad bell. Uh, that's a matte look, and standard. We'll leave it on standard because you can you can choose your own colors. Illumination, no rear ring, which is the uh, ring at the back of lights, working lights, which are lights at the back, or everything for only four hundred bucks. Yeah. Uh, warning signs. This is interesting. Uh, so standard, which is nothing. Uh, flammable. Food grade, fresh milk, milk or water, non-flammable gas, flammable solid, danger if wet or slippery perhaps, inhalation hazard, and back to standard, uh, liftable axle, uh, okay, so let's just bounce out of there for a second. If you go yes, you'll get the third axle, which you can manually lift or lower. Uh, vinyls, which is just that splash decal. <clears throat> and you can't choose the color of that decal. That is that color, um, a yes or no. Fenders. We got no. We got front fenders, which puts those front on or rear or all. Attachers. Standard means new. Or the trailer attacher, which is kind of a universal trailer attacher. Very handy. Main color, here's where the fun begins. We got <clears throat> chrome, ooh, uh, black chrome. Uh, we got the polish, kind of like a stainless uh, aluminum, polished aluminum type look. And then bleh, th this this would be my, I like that. I like the, uh, the purple. Or you could go with the standard if you like deer. Oh, chrome. Makes the, makes the, uh, makes the standard colors chrome. Ooh, that's, uh, pretty cool. Huh. Uh, I guess the orange would be a matte, kind of a matte metallic. Oh, nice. There we go. There's, there's a solid color. Huh. Or green. These are nice greens. Sorry. I'm... Uh, design color is going to be your frame. So that's where I said if you pick the uh, special editions, you won't be able to change that. But if you go into here, you can do that. And the rim color, of course, you can make it that Citadel color. Or if you have the Vertistine with the crawler track, it's going to color those wheels like so. Kind of nice. I like it. Right. So, even though I'm not one for a too many options, these are good options um, when it comes to color um, tracks, uh, certain tire options. Um, pretty nice. Um, so, how does it work? Well, we'll uh, back this one up. I got another one. I got these are just the standard... Uh, size, if you could say standards capacity. Uh, I have this one with the, I wanted to show you the wheel. So L1, if we zoom in here, L1 and up and down on your right stick will raise and lower that, that third wheel. I don't know what the right and left, the extension uh, maybe if there's, uh, so we have another option, L1 and X opens these doors up on the side, as you can see there. Now, does, I still don't know what the, I mean, if anybody knows what that uh, L1 and the right stick right to left does, I have not figured that out. Do not know what that is. Uh, if we go over to here, we don't have, of course, the raise or lower the wheel because it's a track. Right, okay, so the the other, the only other option we have here is uh, the L1 and left on the D-pad will open up your tanker, basically. Yeah, I don't know what the... Uh, 
Um, and you need to do that in order to fill it. And if we come here, you can see slurry, water, milk, liquid fertilizer, digestate, herbicide, or diesel, diesel exhaust, fluid. Let's put water in there. And even at 67,000 liters, it does take a minute to, uh, to fill up, which is understandable. And this, uh, this is the 82 Studio by anything silo, and that fills pretty quack, quick, quack, quick, actually. Uh, let's see now, can you unload when, yes, so even if your lids are closed, you can unload it. Uh, this one's full, so let's just take a, take a spin here. It's, you can feel the weight. It, you can tell that it's full of product. It's taken a minute to get up to speed. Let's close those doors. And stopping, you are going to take a minute to stop. Now, this one I have filled with slurry. And as you can see, it's uh, it's moving around like it has nothing in there, basically. And that's kind of basically the unrealistic part of it as well. Besides the capacity, um, you're driving around like there's nothing in there. <laughs> However, there is. Let's see how fast it empties. Eh, it's it'll take a minute to empty. Two hundred and fifty thousand liters. That will take a minute. Um, however, uh, it'll save you like probably six trips back and forth. <coughs> yeah. So. Uh, two, four, five, five trips. So five trips of 50,000 liters or one trip of 250. And, uh, oh, the lights. Uh, lights, it thing lights up like uh, the 4th of July with all the lights on. You can't change the color of the lights, which is fine. Uh, it's just nice that it has a bunch of lights. Oh, uh, we want to, uh, the signals... Signals, nice. Any beacons? I don't think it had beacons. No. But anyways, um, yeah. Uh, let's, uh... Oh, we're way over here. Uh, that's it. That uh, wraps it up. Uh, my new favorite tanker. Um, that is the... Uh, this is the TLX 48-foot tanker trailer by A2 Studio... 37.48 megabytes, 12 slots only on console. I'm Looty Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.